Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, in a hurry, some of us eat whatever is convenient, but now that the calorie counts are visible in vending machines, how do you judge which snack is worth the calories? Nancy Ad Addison, organic chef and author of Alive and Cooking, is here to help us figure it all out. Good morning. Good morning. So, yeah, I think it's a great move to show calorie counts and all that at the vending machine because there's so much hidden fat and hidden calories in most of the things that you can get in a vending machine. Yes. And that can actually be deceptive because they actually can add uh, artificial sweeteners to things to make the calories less. But the and fat those, is usually higher, right, to well, make it taste better? It's not necessarily that fat's bad for you, it's the type of fat. Mm -hmm. And uh, some fats, uh, like trans fats, are always bad for you. Yeah. And some of the foods that say low fat on them actually have more sugar and salt in them and actually can hurt your, your um, your health more than eating a regular regular product. Like okay. uh, a low fat yogurt usually has a lot of artificial sweetener in it that will um, can hurt your thyroid. Okay, so how do we make smart choices in at the vending machines? What are, what are some of the examples that you Well, have I've us? seen healthier vending machines lately, which has been very nice. Thank goodness, And yes. I'm seeing better choices, and I'm seeing even coconut water in some of the vending machines. And then people have asked me about things that like vitamin water or zero water, and you have to really look at those and see if, if it doesn't have added sugar in it. And so, you know, read the ingredients, make sure it doesn't have too much sodium or too much sugar in it or artificial artificial sweetener like aspartame. Because at this point in the game, I think everybody understands that soda is bad for you. Um, the sugary soda, of course, and even the diet sodas are just not good for you. So I think people mm. are looking for other options to drink that's not as boring as plain old water, right? Right, and if people you know, want to drink water, I get these little packets of vitamins at the healthier grocery stores, and you mm -hmm. can add them to your water and give it a little flavor mm -hmm. and some vitamins, and it makes it a little more interesting. And you're actually doing something good for yourself. And a lot of these emergencies have things in it that'll give you a little boost of energy as well. Yes. Right? So, yes. Yeah. And they have these in vending machines? No, but uh, you can carry those in your purse keep and you know, keep a few something. things yeah. at home for when you're out and you, you, know, you don't have any other choice but a vending machine. It gives you a little extra option. They should put these in vending machines, though. Vending machine people, listen <laughs> up, right? <laughs> okay, and then and, uh, granola um, bars. Yes, and I keep, I keep a bunch at home, and they have some good choices at some of the vending machines. These are my favorite. I like the Garden of Life bars. They're um, all organic, all whole food based. There's no added secret ingredients mm -hmm. to them. Here, try one. Later. Okay. My kind of candy bar. And um, my arm. And those are really delicious. And of course a lot of vending machines these days actually oh, have it's fruit like a chocolate in them. bar. Mm-hmm. Which mm, that's good. Can you trust buying fruit in a vending machine? Is that okay? Well um I think have, given the choice between that and say something like this, yeah. I think you you might be better off. And then a lot of people they don't know, you know, chips you know, we like something crunchy mm -hmm. and savory sometimes, but you need to be aware that on the ingredients, some of them say monosodium glutinate on them. And the monosodium glutinate can actually cause you neurological problems it's with bad. your brain. It's bad. And some of, the, um, some of the dyes, and did you see that story about the mother that's suing M&Ms? Because here in the States, they use artificial dyes, our artificial colorings, and in Europe, it's all natural. So right. she's saying that it's her, the reason for her kids' behavioral problems. But well, so, and the monosodium glutinate also comes in aliases. So on the back of your, your package, if it says natural flavorings, it's usually monosodium glutinate or hydrolyzed protein or soy. Even if it um, says natural so flavorings, it's, it's, not, it's not good. Right. Ugh, it's so hard. Just, you know, keep <laughs> fruit in your desk and keep some granola bars in your desk and you're yeah. fine. And drink water. <laughs> and, you know, we were just looking at the movies and um, my new, our new book, Alive and Cooking, I actually co-wrote with Academy Award winning documentary filmmaker Mary Delio. Really? Yes. <laughs> Look at you. I think we're, maybe we'll have a movie about your book, about eating healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. You can get more great ideas about nutrition and eating healthy by checking out Nancy's book, Alive and Cooking, found on Amazon and in other bookstores. And to see this segment again, you can visit us at thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links. Coming up next, I bet you didn't know that wine can help you keep on track with your New Year's resolution. It's true, they can. Haley's here. She's going to show you how.